Special guest, and this is all about a guest that's coming through as a working musician after after the International Blues Challenge yes. in Memphis. We talk about this all the time on our Worldwide Blues Show. Oh, cool. So, yeah, uh, I want to introduce to the audience Mr. Brody Buster yes. from Paola, Kansas, right? Yep, I'm, I'm based out of Kansas City, but yeah, Paola is where I was born. Yeah, well, we want to give a shout out to Paola because they always have a festival there every year, right? But yeah, Paola Roots Fest, they do have a good festival there. They do. Yeah. yeah, so Doug Deutsch of Doug Deutsch Publicity Services called me up and said, I got a guy that you got to talk to. And yeah. I said, anything for Doug, so... Really want to thank Doug yeah. for uh, setting us up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was a little sure. rushed, but that's that's the way we do things around here. Yeah, We're I mean, up, well, I mean, up until I won that International Blues Challenge stuff, uh, you know, I was just playing locally, and since then, I you know, I signed with the booking agency, and uh, we got Doug working with us too, and I'm, I'm doing a lot of touring now, so. Well, that's so, good to so hear. That's why I was quick on the gun. We all just started working together. Yeah, yeah. no, but so you just mentioned IBC stuff like it was, oh, I just won that IBC stuff, right? So what you specifically won, you were second second place in the best solo duo? Yeah, second place in best solo duo and uh, you know, I play drums and stuff while I'm doing this and that's all electric guitar. So this I just brought this for this, but uh Yeah. And then uh, best harmonica as well. And uh, it was a good time. Well, I usually do the IBCs. Uh, I haven't for the last couple of years because the doctors won't let loose of me for a while. But uh, the last three times was a lot of fun. It was a lot of time. This was my first time ever going down there. So. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the experience, did you happen to meet our uh, solo duo, uh, Fairlight? Uh, uh, who was and it? Joe King as Plastic Mojo? 
No, I did run into a kid from Colorado though, AJ Fullerton. AJ Fullerton. Yeah, Let's say hello to AJ too. Yeah. He's good, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was especially happy that Doug forwarded me that actually uh, Linda Navarro, who I found out is a uh, a veteran reporter in this town for the Gazette actually did a, a piece on you. Yeah, I heard about that. I'm gonna go pick one up and check it out. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and so I'm just paraphrasing here. You know, you mentioned Buster Brody's One Man Band. Yep, yep. You know, and uh, you've been doing harp at least. Now, has it been all music since you were nine? You're one uh, no, of I was just primarily, uh, I started on the guitar, but I really took off on the harmonica at a young age. Uh -huh. So I primarily did that forever. And then uh, the, this one man band thing though, I've only actually been doing about three years, the one man band thing. Up until then I always did like, and I still do, I still have a trio, you know, and I've you know, had other, other, other forms, but this one man thing's only been going about three years. Wow. But I still, I still do the trio as well. So, and, and you're here doing a little mini circuit around Colorado, I yep. understand, and I wish we would have knew, like I said, sooner. We could oh, have done good. a clip and We're just happy to be introduced here. everything for I the know, shows to come. I know here in Colorado, they just announced the lineup today. Uh, I'll be on the Durango Blues train in, in August. Oh, very so nice. I'll be on the, I know they announced that, so I think it's cool to talk about that. Uh -huh. Because, uh, so I'll be back in Colorado for sure in August. Oh, good. And like um, tomorrow night, uh, Saturday night, I'll be in uh, at Jake's Roadhouse, and then Sunday in Fort Collins for this okay. run, and then back home. So, and this is going to be this isn't live. This is going to be yeah. broadcast on our Sunday show. So yeah. this will almost all be done yeah. by the time you hear it. But uh, we're going to do this. It's going to be captured obviously on video. We're going to download it to the station, so it'll oh, cool. be on our YouTube channel, yeah. and as well as broadcast on the Sunday. Uh, Worldwide Blues Show on KCOSDigitalMedia.com. Cool. But um, we definitely want to hear a harmonica infused tune of yours, if you yeah. don't mind. Yeah, I can play some harmonica stuff for sure, too. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do uh, here. This one, uh, yeah, just blues tune. Uh, it goes out to my good friend Matt. I haven't recorded it yet, but I play it too soon. Oh man, what an even better surprise for us. But yeah, everything I do has got the harmonica on it. All right. That you went away Ain't got to hear the mean things that you say But your brother is still calls me dude Just says, Brody, what's up, dude? That's nice. Thank you. That's nice. So, um, what's what's in the future? You coming back here in I'll August? Be, yeah, I'll be here in August. I know a lot of the stuff that I've got coming up. I uh, I can't announce yet as far as festivals are concerned. Oh, okay. Because there's uh, stuff I'm obligated to do, but I do know I'll be going to the West Coast. I'm going to be going to Canada for a while. Oh wow. Um, next weekend though, I will be at um, 
so April, what is that, 7th or 8th, whatever that is. I'll be at the Baton Rouge Blues Fest. I'm really excited about that. Oh, man. And actually, uh, this is really cool for me because the only, the only reason I'm getting on there is because Kenny Neal uh, met me down there in Memphis, and he got them to put me on there. So I'm going to go down there and party with Kenny Neal in Baton Rouge, Louisiana next weekend. See, this is what, you know, we try to do some mentoring on our show because good things happen to good people like you, huh? Yeah, I mean, if you, well, I've been doing this forever. And, uh, you know, okay, how long's forever, man? You're you're a young guy. I'm an old guy. Well, I'm 32. Yeah. But I I started doing this, you know, and you know, heavily touring when I was you know 11 years old. But uh, in my in my teens and uh, early 20s, I kind of quit doing this for a while, and uh, and now I'm kind of making a push and doing it again. So I got to you know, it bugged me ever since I saw this twice, and I'm looking at my notes, so I'm cheating, but maybe I'm not. I gotta say, in this in the uh, Gazette article, yeah. now, do you call yourself Buster Brody's one man band? It's Brody Buster's one man band. See, I didn't. Yep. I knew that I was yep. right, but yep. you will see this in the Gazette. It's, it's Buster. Did you be? It happens all the time. Hey, my name's so easy. Everybody yep. calls me Mike, and yeah. I'm Mark. Everybody you know? says my first name is Buster, but now Brody Buster is my birth given name. Yeah. Brody, Brody Wayne Buster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, how, okay, how did you get just infused so young in instruments? Is it just from being around home and that's what... Yeah, my mom you know? played in a blues band uh, called uh, Sonny Kenner. No kidding. At, in Kansas City. He's been dead a long time now, but uh, he, she was in his backing band. She also played with um, a blues band in Kansas City called Cotton Candy. Kansas City is really a great music Kansas community. Kansas City is always, it's always stuff coming out of Kansas City. Oh yeah, yeah. That's we we try to go as much as we can, but you yeah, know. Yeah, and it's uh, Kansas City's you know changed a lot in the last ten years, and it's, it's yeah, it's a uh, it's a great place. It's still a long drive though, huh? Uh, you know, uh, it took us about we eight eight and a half hours to get to Denver for the first. You know, we, we yeah. played Monday night in Kansas City, woke up Tuesday morning and played in Golden that night. So. <laughs> Yeah. So where'd you play in Golden? We played this place called the Golden Moon Speakeasy. All right. It's like a little tiny place, but it was it was pretty cool, especially for a Tuesday night. It was yeah. Great. See, and we like we like uh, having these places get recognized. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you know not everybody plays all the same places, and and yep. opportunities come where they are, right? Yeah, yeah. And me and this uh, me and my friend are on this tour, Mr. Uh, Caleb Brian Martin. He's a uh, kid out of Arkansas, and so he booked some of the shows, and then. And then there at the uh, the last of it, I got signed on that agency, and they picked up a, they picked up a few shows for us. What's your agency? Uh, Road Dog Touring. Doug Ta He's actually out of Colorado. Is it uh, really? Yeah, and uh, so I had this Colorado run booked with Caleb all before I booked, won the international thing. Uh huh. And but it was just like tiny little places that no one's ever heard of because I've never been here before. Yeah. And uh, so Doug got us a few places here towards the end to you know make it worth us coming down here. Oh, that's great. Uh, but I was just down. To, I got a lot of friends in Denver, so I've always wanted to come here. So I was already planning on coming here. But yeah, Doug Tackett fixed up the tour for us. Um, you know, put us to this place tonight, and then our it tomorrow night. And put, great. Cleaned it up for us. And uh, he's he's handling the booking for the for the one man band currently. All and it's right. been going pretty good. Well, that's it's it's good to hear. So yeah, all this came out of basically meeting. I went down there, and you know, I went down there, and I uh, I wouldn't have even have had to one to have made good. It wouldn't. It, I mean, that's winning right. obviously helps, but I would have made good connections either way. That's uh, right. Yeah, I, I I met Doug before he, you know. Doug was like, yeah, I'll book you before, before I even won the thing, because, uh, you know, he, he liked what he saw, and there's, there's definitely, it's definitely worth going down. I, you know, I definitely can't do it again. I already won it. Uh, yeah. You know, even though I didn't get first, I got second. I'm not going to try to do it again, though. Yeah. You, you know, but um, uh, You're not gonna it's try worth to going down. I'm still, I'm still going to go down there and party, though, because, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll have a lot of friends going down there. Well, that's the whole point. It, once you go there, it's, it's like the same people every year, and it is a big, yeah, and a big party, a lot of fun. Year, it was a lot of fun. Real serious appreciados of, of the blues, you know? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, going down there, you know, you know, if I wouldn't have gone down there, I definitely wouldn't be playing in Canada this summer. You know, and all, and all. So is that through the uh, Canadian Blues Society, one of those uh, I don't think blues I can societies? officially announce, but one of the festivals is like way bigger than anything I ever thought I could get on. Like, uh, it's not just a blues fest, it's like an international music festival. It's, uh, well, Canada does that stuff. They do I, some big stuff, and yeah. I'm, I'm going to be up there uh, in July. Cool. Yeah. So, 
What place in Canada can I, can I don't tell? think I can say yet, honestly. Oh, and man. I got I to well, be really careful because I got, I'm I got trouble you. for saying something I should have. I know, and I'm baiting, day, baiting you because I'm got, a little familiar. It ended up being okay, but I shouldn't have I shouldn't have announced it. So I'm, uh, no, we don't want to get you in trouble. But I know, because the, both the Dugs, man, they're on me, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to uh, Don't want to upset Doug. Yeah, Doug but, Darts and Doug Tackett, they're both uh, on me because uh, this stuff all kind of hit me really fast. And I, I just get real excited, to tell you the truth, because I used to work in Canada in a few places, and I know that they have some exceptional cool. music festivals. Yeah, I looked at past lives like for this thing, a, and I was a like, whoa. whole week long festival. You know, I used to work in Ottawa. Okay, yeah. just, just, just I'll be to in say. Montreal, and uh, I know I can I say like where I'll be in Montreal, <laughs> and I'll be in. Uh, I, I can't even say it in the Trendemont or something like that. So you speak any French? No, I've never been to Canada. <laughs> I actually, I had, I, it's, I have to drive. Straight on from Louisiana Sunday to get my passport Monday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Half my family's Canadian, so it's really weird for yeah, me I gotta, too. Yeah, I gotta get a passport. So I've never, been, I've never been. I've never been. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Well, how about another song? All right. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, we we are so thankful that, that you know Doug Sweet. sets us up with people that that come through and. Uh, Next time you come by, you're gonna have to to really do a show for us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll be coming through again, I'm sure. Let's see, uh, I don't know. So doing some of the stuff, I'm I'm most of the show really. I mean, in my opinion, is about the drums because I'm a, I, I play the drums a little bit differently for the one man, and I think that's what really pushes over. So me. And I play an electric guitar. I borrowed this from Caleb, so <laughs> I think it's honest uh -huh. to do is a little, a little tricky. So well, we um, always like to, to kind of throw people off and do something that they're not used to doing. Oh yeah, you that's, know? that's fine. Because that's uh, what people really. I mean, people are going to go, wow. Yeah, yeah. At first, we didn't know about you. Now, yeah, yeah. This is a different if you, thing. If you've, seen, if you've watched this and never seen the one man band, you gotta go look it up. Do me, do me some justice here, because this is the, this is my life. Oh this yeah. Is what I do. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see you though. How about, how about Neil Young, too? Let's do a Neil Young, too. All right. All right.
sweet. Thank you. You know what? There's not an awful lot of harp players in this town that are going to love hearing this clip. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank you for taking a short time. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm super happy to be here. Thank you so much for having us. Well, you're gonna have, we're going to have to stay in touch because next yeah. time I want to know well in advance when you're coming so we can see if we can do more. Sounds like a plan. Sounds but, like a plan. Uh, so, you got a website? Yeah, BrodyBuster.com. Uh, Brody Buster on Facebook. Brody Buster's one man band on Facebook. Brody Buster on Instagram. Do you got CDs for sale? Uh, we do. You can get those through Mud Stomp Records, and I'm pretty sure you can get them on iTunes. I'm not into all that stuff, but uh, okay. A, a dude named Don Simon with Mud Stomp Records is handling that. But just look up Mud Stomp Records, you'll be able to find it. Cool. But and you can always obviously buy them at the show. Well, you know, and that's the thing is that uh, you're going to start what at ten at Bar Louie, right? Ten o'clock tonight, Bar Louie, to us, and then tomorrow night is Arveda at Jake's Roadhouse or Arvada, how do you say it? Yeah, and then, um, Fort Collins on Saturday, and then Sunday, Slow Ride in Lawrence, Kansas. Well, you know what? Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to really process this fast, download it, and put it up on on the Worldwide Blues yeah. page so that we can catch the last few and still make people aware about you coming back the next time. Well, and yeah, and um, like I said, I'll be back for the Durango Blues train too. I don't know how close that is to here, but I know it's Colorado. Well, you know, it, you got to drive almost all anywhere around here. Yeah, dude, so, it's beautiful up here. I, I, really, I really love Colorado. It's well, it's really a pleasure meeting you, Brody. And, and once again, uh, our show here is over at 9, so cool. on the way home, I yeah, dude, I'll be playing until, so, uh, I think, 1.30. So oh, I know. I'm, uh, my buddy, Caleb Brian Martland, uh, uh, he's from Arkansas. I'm going to I'm gonna play, he's going to play, I'm going to play, he's going to play. Um, and, you know, we'll be rotating sets all night long. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much for your time. Once again, thanks, Doug Deutsch, Publicity yep. Services, for the connection made and yep. friendship to develop. Yep, this thank is you. KCOSDigitalMedia.com. It reaches all over, especially Kansas City. So awesome. tell everybody to listen to us every Sunday. Cool. And six days a week, we are all Colorado music. That's anyway, awesome, man. Colorado's music scene is pretty awesome. I must say that. There's a lot of people. It here, is. A lot know? of people are doing a lot for it, and it's. Uh, I'm not really surprised. I like it down here. Or well, over here. Can't wait to see you back. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks again. Yep.